Hi, my name is David and I'm going to show you uh, how to build a 2D game engine from scratch for using uh, the XNA platform so you can use it on both Windows or uh, your Xbox. So I'm going to start by uh, creating a new project, so file new project. I'm going to create a 3.1 project, Windows game. I'm going to call it uh, Game Tester. Uh, because this is not the engine itself, it's just a testing uh, project so we can use our, our, all our functionalities. Tester. Okay. So I can start by creating uh, the project for the engine itself. So we're going to the solution, add new project, a Windows game library. That's good. I'm going to call my engine Betty, so you can name it whatever you want. Just uh, keep in mind that I'm going to use this namespace and you have to put your own namespace, whatever you want to use it. So you can put it on the game tester folder or on the different folder, it's up to you. Just create, okay. So uh, you can uh, delete this created file, the class one, delete it, okay. Uh, we're going to start by making a reference on our game tester to the bay. So on references, I'm going to add reference. I'm going to projects and the bay. It shows up here. Okay, it's here. So now uh, start by dragging the game one to our bay. Okay, rename it to application. Delete the the other one on the game tester. Okay. So we have to start by changing the namespace. It's still using uh, the game tester to bay. Uh, I'm gonna rename game one to application and over here then so on program I have to change here also because it's not game one anymore and using bay sorry okay it should still run the same way as we had uh, before so oh sorry it's going to my other monitor it's here as you can see it's still working so just another cleanup here so we still have just the same uh, game one structure all we're going to change it to our needs. So I'm going to start by creating a static class here. So click static class to bay. Oh, sorry. I just prefer like this. So I'm going to have a public application. So we can uh, have access to our application itself wherever we are whatever code we are using it's a static class it's a static variable so static yes. and epic we also will need a graphic device manager here the graphic So now, so this is a f this is the function we call to initialize our static class. S oh, sorry, I'm missing the return type here. Done. So over here on our constructor, we're going to add bay initialize this then. so we don't need this this anymore 
going to a graphic device manager equals a new graphic device manager. Over here on our load content, we need to initialize the rest. So pay graphic device equals Because on load contact, the graphic device is already created, and we can uh, uh, add, uh, we can set a variable for using it. So we we don't uh, are we aren't restricted to the application for using the graphic device. We'll need the graphic device var var uh, a lot of uh, on a lot of places. I'm going to erase the this sprite this sprite batch here. I'm not going to need it. I'm going to delete it from here also. I don't need this. I think this is everywhere. It's so over here on draw, the although you can still use graphic device, you can now do this a graphic device. If you need to use the graphic device on uh, any other class, you can just use the bay uh, static class. So now, the basic, it's, it still runs, let me show you. So it's still running. So this is the basic of our uh, 2D engine. This is the, the basic structure. You have now, uh, you can, uh, whenever you want to create an, uh, a new game, you're just uh, going to use Bay and have this program he over here. You don't have to create the, the game one, etc., etc. We're just going to use application and game run is still going to use. It's still using the, the same functionalities as before. So this concludes the this part one. Uh,